While families suffer through endless hours stuck at home during lockdown, spare a thought for the Langham clan. They've been forced to pitch a tent in a local park. This is serious. Emotionally, we're really over it. Imagine living like this. You can not only hear it, you can feel it too. It's insane, isn't it? And it's driving them mad. No, it's not something that anybody wants to do with their family, to leave the house that they've grown up in and that they built themselves for their family. And... For months, the Langham family's been living with the construction site next door, leaving them no choice but to pitch a tent in the local park during the day. Mum, Dad, their two young girls and dog all cramming inside. And this is the only peace and quiet you can get? Well, yes. It was the only option to get some temporary reprieve from, from the constant noise. <laughs> I really just needed, like, I guess every pregnant woman to have a lay down, have a bit of a rest. And um, uh, we just didn't have any, any other place to go. Sarah is heavily pregnant and says living inside her own home has become unbearable. It has been very stressful, um, physically um, and mentally very stressful. Noisy machines operate six days a week, building what will become Council's new recreation centre in Kew in Melbourne's eastern suburbs. I mean, I understand building has to happen and I, can, I don't want to stand in the way of progress, but there must be a better way. This is ordinary noise. If it's not the machinery, it's boom boxes outside the kids' rooms on a Saturday morning. Blaring heavy metal despite speakers being banned on site. Excuse me, mate. Hi. Do you mind turning that off? If you've got a problem, go light up this. Just met with, we've been told not to speak with you, and they just turn it up. That's quite loud now. Yeah, this is, this is not the noise that I'm complaining about. After our visit, Teo says they felt intimidated by the tradies who turned the cameras on them and their kids. Filming us in our house from the work site. That's nice, isn't it? Building company ADCO says it's sorry to hear of these accounts and no actual footage was taken. As for the council, it initially suggested the family escape to the library, then its maternal health centre, before finally offering them a service department. And that's where the families stay during the day for the better part of two months. But with that arrangement due to end, they want a more permanent solution. We don't have any other choice. We don't. We. We can't really at, at this stage. I can barely hear you over this. <laughs> Yeah, this is yeah, this is just not much, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> the city of Burundara told us Council is not in a position to use ratepayer funds to pay for private rental properties for two years when soil compaction works which the resident had initially complained about ends in July 2021. I'm not able to rest if I want to close my eyes for 10 minutes, so why should this be normal? Has the council come here to listen to the noise? Um, they have not. I've asked them to. Council says it has, also pointing to noise monitor machines, but where are they? Positioned 40 metres away from the construction site. If the monitors aren't in the correct positions, like on houses that are impacted, then what use are they? I don't think we'll be able to stay in that home. However things will go, ahead, um, I don't think we will stay in, in our home. I, I believe everybody should have a place where they can go and raise their family and be, um, be, be in peace and quiet. What a disgrace. That council can do more and they know it. You can read full statements from council and the builder on our homepage.